Hi everyone! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about six things that I wish I knew before I becoming a software developer. Now, I have been a software developer for almost five years now. More or less, I used to be a data analyst for about three years before I switching my career path into web development. So, in today's video, I wanted to just kind of like look back to the mistakes and things that I learned along the way and I wish that my younger self would have known these things before I jumping into software engineering. So if you are also curious about this, maybe consider subscribing and maybe consider share this video with someone also who would be interested in this content. All right, long story short, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, lessons number one is the learning never stops. What I mean by that is, as you all know, that web development changes all the time. There's always like newer technologies, newer frameworks and things like that. So as a software developer, you are responsible to learn things consistently. Especially in this day and age, I think it's extremely important to keep ourselves updated with, you know, newer things and especially like get our hands dirty with experimenting newer technologies and things like that are super important. Important. Now, I would say that as a software developer, majority of my time is spending on either working with designers, working with product managers, coding on my own, pair programming, but also just taking at least an hour a day to learn something new, something that you're interested in. And that's extremely important because at the end of the day, your work will contribute to the work experience and projects on your resume but there are going to be so many things that you don't know and you wish that you knew that are also important in the web development world. So keep that in mind. The learning never stops is the way to go. Number two is soft skills matters. What I mean by that is you gotta just not only improving your technical skills, which is very important, but also improving your soft skills. Skills like collaboration, communication, Applications and you know worked with designers work with product managers and being able to build a good relationships with your co-workers and I think a lot of times we under the impression of programmers are just somebody who is in the dark corner just coding like almost like a hacker in the movies and that is not entirely true in fact software engineering is so much more than just coding and programming because software engineering is combining collaborations and programming and attacking the software and there's so much more than just coding in general you do need to know how to code you do need to produce your code and being able to co-review other people's code but more than just that you need to know how to communicate with people effectively and talk to people to understand their perspective and leverage your expertise to help the team to achieve the goals. If you think of somebody who's a architect and who is an engineer to build a bridge, like there's more than just building the bridge on its own. It's all about, you know, like the licensings around the bridge, the timelines that it takes to build a bridge, how many people that you need in your team. You know, like there's a lot more than just making the bridge happen. There's a lot underlying inside of the project. So it's the same way kind of for software development as well. It's a lot of collaborations and communicatings and convincing your vision and kind of compromising with what the design is coming up with the blueprint on the software product. Soft skills really do help you to take you to the next level of becoming a really good software developer. Number three is imposter syndrome and I have to admit it, I have it, I still have it, I feel like everybody has it and this is something that everybody kind of like battle with. Imposter syndrome is something that you just feel like you are not capable of performing the level of 
work that you were expected at your workforce. I did make a video about imposter syndrome over here. So if you're interested on particularly how to battle with that, um, this video is perfect for you. But I would also say that this is something that I wish that I knew before I became a software engineer because when I was learning to code, a lot of the time I was just thinking like, you know what, this is because I'm a beginner. This is because I'm a newbie. I don't know a lot of things about web development. But guess what? After, you know, five years into the field, I still feel like a newborn baby. I still feel like there's so much to learn. And here's why you need to continuously learning. I think that software development is so broad. There's so many topics, so many programming languages. You cannot be Excel or an expertise on everything that's impossible right and that's why you feel some sort of way around not knowing certain things and that's okay that you accepted the fact that you're not going to be an expert on everything the easier you're going to be improving yourself to be a better developer i think acknowledging and being honest about how much you know and willing to learn more every day that would put you in a position to be a better software developer. Thing number five is networking. I know this is kind of like an overused almost word because everybody's talking about you gotta network, you gotta build your professional network. I hate to tell you this, but this is 100% true. I know it's so overemphasized nowadays, but one of the important things that I wish that I would have do more when I was in the process of becoming a software developer is is building up my networks and a lot of times when you are just coming out from college just coming out from coding bootcamp you don't have a lot of connections and it's important to build those connections either through you know real events or meetups or online and this is why there's a lot of videos that I created that are dedicated on how can you network on social media how do you build your professional networks on LinkedIn how do you manage to connect with people in the same profession and I think that a lot of times when we start opening up our options to be willing to connect with people who are also passionate about the same things as us that gives us more exciting opportunities to even just build greater products Think about how there are cases when you go to a meetup and you learn some sort of new framework or tech stacks and then you start implementing that into your current project or your current work, right? It's so much more exciting and, and fun to know there are so many different ways to solve the same problem. So it is really important guys to network with anyone. Number six, the last but not the least is finding your specialties. And this is something that you would not worry too much about currently, but as you start building up your experiences in software development, the more that you started to notice that you have some sort of passion towards one or two particular thing. For instance, for me, I was extremely excited about AIs and I was also really interested in web development, particularly with react and I think that you know once you start gaining knowledge in web development and you're gaining experiences in software development you start having your own like opinions about things and your preferral stacks or frameworks and that's good and I would say don't rush into choosing one or two particular framework or specialties I would actually explore different areas of software engineering things before you discover what truly excites you and a lot of times you could be excited about you know certain frameworks or technologies and then you maybe one day just feel bored of it and you're tired of it you're ready to learn something entirely different and that's okay you can do that too like there's so many things you can learn in this field and it's 
super exciting. Um, but one thing that I look back is don't rush too much into like set yourself to like, okay, I'm the front end developer. I am the JavaScript developer. I am the, you know, Python person. Try to explore as much as you can because a lot of times you would discover things that you did not expect to discover. One of the examples that I'll give you is when I first started my career as a data analyst, I thought that I would be really good with Python and I thought that, you know, knowing SQL, I would be great with using Python to do data analytics and I'll be fine working in C Sharp. Um, However, little do I know that I am actually a really creative person. And the later that I discover JavaScript and discover the front end world and discover UI and like user experience, like all these like satisfying things about front end, I soon realized that I'm not just a data person. Like I can be in the front end, in the back end and doing full stack development. That could happen to you too. Like don't rush into like picking one or the other thing. Like take your time to like really explore your options because the options is endless, the opportunities are endless, you have unlimited time to learn as many things as you want. So don't put yourself in a box, like think outside of the box. Try everything, try anything until you found your passion and you'll be excited to do that every day as your profession. There you have it. Here are the six things that I wish that I know before I became a software developer. And now looking back, these things are good to have just in the back of my head. I have a ton of other videos about software engineering, about vlogging, about things, about tech. Make sure to check out all of those videos over here. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Stay safe and adios.